At universities, we need students who have the ability to research. That's what research university is all about. And the joy of the EPQ is whatever subject they choose to work on, one, they can show us their absolute passion for that subject, but two, they can show us that they have those research skills so they know how to use primary sources critically. They know that good research sometimes means hitting a brick wall and finding a different way to move. They know how to reference, they know how to use bibliographies. These are key skills and more than anything else, they're curious and they want to ask questions and the EPQ encourages that and that's all we're looking for. I think the EPQ very much prepares students not only for the rigours of academic study but also prepares them very well um, for whatever they want to go on to do, whether that's into employment or after university going on into employment. They have to pose themselves a problem and they have to seek many different ways of answering um, or solving that problem. Um, and the EPQ gives them the opportunity to have a go at doing things that they would do in everyday life. There's nowhere else in the school curriculum for um, people to think that's absolutely something I really want to study and that they can follow right through to the end um, without being worried about making mistakes. I've really tried to speak to the kids and say you don't don't worry about making mistakes because actually overcoming problems is actually part of the process as well. So I think that has allowed them to get outside their comfort zone, explore things they're really interested in and follow their passions. I think there is more and more opportunity out there to work with partners to help deliver the EPQ. So don't feel that you're on your own. Universities, museums and galleries, there's a whole range of institutions that are waiting to support you, for example, in the delivery of the 30 hours of study skills. So come and talk to us and we'll do it in partnership. And I suppose the other key thing I always say to teachers is always ask, answer a question with a question. It's not your EPQ, it's theirs. So be wonderfully hard in how you respond to their questions. I would very much encourage students to embrace some of the difficulties that the EPQ poses. It is those difficulties that they will encounter that are the real value of the EPQ. It's not necessarily what you come out with at the end, but it's who you are and how you have developed that is also of equal importance. It's not about the final piece that the students actually make or design or write. It's about the journey and the diary and the skills that they've actually logged throughout their time in doing the EPQ. So don't mark it necessarily on what they've achieved at the end of it, but mark them on their journey um, throughout their whole project. I think try and be really flexible in your approach and really allow the students to develop their own ideas and let them develop the outcome as it kind of goes along. Um, try not to make them decide too quickly. Pieces of advice I'd give to students are choose a subject that you're obsessed about. Don't worry if it's not what you want to study at university. Choose a subject that engages you and always ask questions. And if the answer comes back that you didn't expect, ask another question and another question. Mm -hmm.